heads up if you are planning a vacation to a beach uh, on the Gulf or East Coast this summer. The National Weather Service is predicting one of the busiest hurricane seasons on record. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso has the numbers. This is one of their boldest forecasts ever, and it comes with high confidence too. Noah's outlook is calling for 17 to 25 named storms. 8 to 13 of those are forecast to become hurricanes, including 4 to 7 major hurricanes. That's category 3 or stronger. An average year typically brings 14 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. Now, one of the main reasons for this active forecast is all of the fuel that these storms will have to work with. That's the incredibly warm ocean water. From the Gulf to the Caribbean, sea surface temperatures are well above average at record levels approaching 90 degrees in spots. We're also transitioning out of El Nino to La Nina. And during El Nino summers, you have stronger wind shear or hostile winds that hinder tropical development. That shear will be tough to find this year. Now with that said, here are the 21 names for this season. There's an extra list if all of these end up getting used. But what's important to remember, if you encounter any of these storms while visiting the coast, listen to local officials and be prepared to adjust your plans. Uh, one's yeah. named Chris. The there third. you go. Yeah. yeah, watch out. Do you buy into that? I do, actually. And Adam pointed out uh, the ingredients are there uh -huh. for a high hurricane season. What I always have to clarify, that doesn't mean they're all making landfall. Most of these That's spin true. off in the Atlantic and do nothing. And all it takes is one. If Adam was telling you this is a low hurricane forecast season, but we have one that hits Florida, Carolinas, Texas, yeah. that's like billions of dollars. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll definitely keep an eye on it. But yeah, I think it could be very active. Well,